Okay, on this video, uh, we will talk about multiplying algebraic uh, expression by an algebraic expression, but I will take it step by step. First, we will multiply an algebraic term by a number. To make it clear, uh, we will go on uh, a bit easy. For example, that's an algebraic term, so it's equal 4 multiplied by x. 4 times x, 4 multiplied by x. And there is then 2, so there is nothing between parentheses and number, and this is multiplication. So 2 times 4 times x. So 2 times 4 times x, that's equal 2 times 4. Why? On uh, all of them multiplication, so I can do any uh, operation first, any number. So 2 times 4 I will solve, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 times x, it's equal 8 uh, x. So 8 times x, we can write here 8 x. So we don't need to write all the time, of course, multiplication, multiplication, 2 times 4. Only we will multiply number and coefficient. 2 times 4 is 8, 8 x. Such as that one, negative 3 multiplied by 5, multiplied by x squared, multiplied by y cubed. That's an algebraic uh, term. Uh, 5 is coefficient, negative 3. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15, x squared, y cubed. So, 3, 2 over 3, 2 over 3, 1 over 2, uh, this coefficient is 1 over 2, and I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 3. 2 over 3 multiply by 1 over 2, a times b. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times 1, 1, 3 times 1, 3, a, b, 1 over 3, a, b. So, that's only we multiply by a number and an algebraic term. Let's take the one more step uh, from it. Uh, this time we are going to multiply an algebraic term by, a, by an algebraic term. So, if you want to write that one is very long, 3 times x, uh, let's use, I will use that for x uh, for multiplication. 3 times x multiply by y, multiply by 5, I will remove the point to make it clear, multiply by x squared, and x squared is x times x. Multiply by y cube. Y, y cube is uh, y times y times uh, y. Uh, sorry, there are two points. Okay, y. Okay, let's see. 3 times 5. I can multiply any order because of the cumulative, uh, commutative property. Uh, you can multiply in an order. 3 times 5, 15. So x times x times x. Uh, so x multiplied by x multiplied by x is x cube. So x cube and y multiply y another y another y so it's equal y power of four as you, if you remember the uh, exponential number so three times five fifteen x times x square is x cube y times y power of three is y power of four here the shortcut you don't need to write all time everything's that way. You only say the power is 1 here, x power of 1, 1 plus 2, 3, x squared multiplied by x, x cube, and again y multiplied by y cube is equal to y power of 4. Let's try the example here, negative 3 multiplied by negative 5, so I will multiply first coefficient, negative 3 multiplied by 5, negative 5 is positive 15, so x cube Multiply by x squared. So when we multiply exponential number with common base, we can add the power. So I can uh, add 3 plus 2, that 3 and this 2. So two, 3 plus 2 is 5, x power of 5. So let's continue the second one. y power of 5, y power of uh, 3. So 5 plus 3 is 8. So the result will be y power of 8. So we only add the powers when we multiply two algebraic term. So first coefficient by coefficient, then we will multiply like variables. So x the base are x, so I can add the powers. Base are y, so I can add the powers. This is the term by term. Now let's come to term and algebraic expression. Okay, when it's come to that one, we have one term and we know a distributive property. When it's multiplication, I need to multiply all of them one by one. I need to take this term and I need I have to multiply each term inside the parentheses or say algebraic expressions. 
Let's see. The first one, 2xy multiplied by 3x square y cube. So 2 plus the second one, 2xy multiplied by 5x y power of 2 or y square. 2 times 3, 6. So x times x square. So the 2, the power is here 1. So x times x square is x cube. y times y cube is y power of 4. Plus 2 times 5, 10 x times x, x multiplied by x, x square, it's algebraic expression, x multiplied by x, x square. Uh, so this is uh, exponential number, the basics. And y times y square is y cube. So that's the last uh, result. When you multiply 2xy by the algebraic expression 3x square y cube plus 5xy square, we get 6x cubed y power of 4 plus 10x squared y cube. Of course here you need to be careful or oh, you don't need to write this step. You can do it mentally. You can do it mentally. Let's do it mentally. It's better I think. Okay. Let's lock this. Uh, I forget to lock it probably. Yes, that's better right now. Let's do it mentally. Let's keep this uh, everything here on a side. We already find the answer. Let's do it mentally. <clears throat> okay, first 2 times 3. What is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. Let's continue. x multiplied by x squared. What is x multiplied by x squared? Oh, x cube. Then multiply y and y cube. What is y times y cube? y power of 4. So let's continue. <coughs> let's clean that uh, everything uh, here. Let's continue the second one. <coughs> two multiply by second term. Now I already did the first term. Then I need to multiply second term with that one. Two times five is ten. So pos this is positive two. This is positive five. The result must be positive ten. Then let's continue with x x multiplied by x what is x multiplied by x x squared then there is a y y multiplied by y squared is y cube i get the same result you can do it mentally directly it's okay let's continue this another example oh there are fractions <coughs> i will do it mentally i don't want to write all steps again and again let's multiply 3 over 4 multiply by 1 over 2 so when we multiply by fraction numerator by numerator 3 times 1 3 4 times 2 8 continue x cubed multiply by x x cubed multiply by x is x power of 4 then take that y y times y squared what is y times y squared y cubed of course this is the first i finished now let's continue Sorry, uh, I forget to lock that one again. Okay, let's continue the second one. Again, we will multiply 3 over 4, multiply by 4 over 3. So both of them positive, the result will be positive. And as you see, 3 over 4 and 4 over 3, they are co uh, rest reciprocal of each other. So 3 times 4, 12, 4 times 3, 12, 12 divided by 12 is 1. And keep this one here. I don't want to do any operation. I will keep in my mind. I put there because of it. Let's continue. X cube multiply by x. X cube multiply by x. X power of 4. X power of 4 multiply by 1. It's equal to x power of 4. So as you see, I will write here x power of 4. I don't have to write this one. And let's do the last one. Y multiply by y squared is y. Oh, sorry, I couldn't choose the black one color. Okay, y times y square is y cube. So this is our result. When it comes to fraction, I did same. We multiply it. More example. As you see, this time we have three terms on the algebraic expression, and I am going to multiply by it only one term. I haven't started algebraic expression. Multiply my algebraic expression and algebraic expression, because if you can solve that part with term and algebraic expression. Expression by expression is a bit easy. 
I will use only black color this time. Minus three times uh, to let's lock the uh, expression here. Take it a little left and lock it here. That, that's better now. Okay, let's see. Minus three times two minus six. X square multiplied by x cube. Y cube. There is no y. What will we do? Of course, we will write this y cube. Plus. Let's continue. Minus 3 times 3. Oh, this is not plus. Be careful here. I directly write plus, but I did a mistake. Why? Negative 3 multiplied by positive 3 is negative 9. So don't forget the signs belong to their uh, terms. I need to write this sign. X square. There is no x square. I can write this x square here. Okay. Then y cube multiplied by square y power of 5. Now, the last one. Negative 3. Positive 2 multiplied by positive 2, negative 6. x squared multiplied by x power of 5, x power of 7. y cubed multiplied by y cubed, y power of 6. And this is our result. We did mentally, I didn't separate it. And don't forget here, as you see, there is no y. The variable y is, doesn't uh, include on this term. And y cubed, so there is nothing. So we must have this multiplication, so we need to multiply y cube here. It's, it's uh, an important uh, details. It's the same, there is no x, but we wrote this x squared. But if we are doing multiplication, we must uh, write that one. Y, let's uh, do it term by term. If I multiply that term, minus 3x squared y cube multiplied by 2x. 2x. As you see, minus 3 times 2 is 6 x times x x so x times x squared x cube and y cube this all multiplication we are multiplying term by term so we cannot miss any variable and as you see it's not look like addition and subtraction the powers are changing you see that there is no power of 6 or 7 but on the result we get the power of 6 uh, power of 7 so let's come to algebraic expression by an algebraic expression so on that one, we uh, the thing is here we have to do. We need to take the first term of first expression, and you we need to dis multiply all the term with second expression, like term by term. And second, we need to take the second expression, second term. So we need to take this first expression, second term, and we need to multiply all terms of the second expression. So let's do it. X times two x. So the coefficient is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, x times x, x squared, x times y, here as you see, x times y, so plus, positive multiplied by positive is positive, x times y, x, y. Let's come to y, y times 2x, 1 times 2, positive 2, y times x, y, x, you can write here y, x, but I will use the order of alphabet, x comes first, I will write x. On the y, we can do it. Let's do it here. 2 times y multiplied by x. So it's on multiplication, we can change the place of the very, uh, factors. 2 times x times y. Is, if this is multiplication, these are the factors, and I can change their place. I change their place only. Uh, okay, let's continue. This I multiply the first one. Now y times y plus y squared. Okay. This is not finished here because it's important to combine the like terms. Plus xy and plus 2xy is here. Let's combine them. 2x squared plus 3xy plus y squared. This is our uh, product. Then we multiply these two fact, uh, algebraic expressions, we get the product. So this is the result. Let's solve one or, uh, yes, two more examples. Okay, let's start with that one. I will take the first one and I will multiply first that one. Let's do it. 2 times 2, 4. x squared multiplied by x squared, x power of 4. Then continue. I will multiply by that one. 2 times negative uh, 3. 2 is here. Negative 3 is here. 2 times negative 3, negative 6. x squared multiplied by x, x cube so next one we will multiply by that one 
2 times 4 plus uh, 8. There is no variable, but there is an x square multiplied by x square. So this is the first one. Let's continue the second term. So second term is minus 3x multiplied by 2x squared. It's minus 3x cubed. Then minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. Minus 3 multiplied by y minus 3. This is minus 3. That's minus 3. Minus 3 times minus 3 plus 9. X times x, x squared. Minus 3, the last term. I need to multiply it either. As you see, that one and 4. Minus 3 times 4, what's minus 3 times 4 is minus 12 x multiplied by x. There is no variable, so that's the factors. But let's check the like terms. Let's check the like terms. x4, x power of 4, no. Negative 6 x cubed. Negative 3 x cubed like terms. And is there another like terms? Let's check 8 x squared. There's a plus 8 square, plus 9 x square. So they are like terms. And these doesn't have any like terms let's write all uh, let's combine the like terms 4 x power of 4 minus 6 minus 3 minus 9 x cubed when you combine you cannot change the uh, powers it's not x cubed and x cubed x power of 6 no this is addition uh, we are combining them plus 8 x squared plus 9 x squared make plus 17 x squared and what is left? I combine these two, I combine these two, minus 12x left. So this is the product of these two algebraic expression. So last example uh, is that one. Uh, it looks like a bit hard, but the idea is same. We will multiply term by term. Let's multiply the first term. 2 times 3, 6. A squared multiplied by A cubed A power of 5. B squared multiplied by B. B power of mm, 3. B squared multiplied by B. B cubed. Let's continue. The first one and the second one. 2 times minus 4. Why 2 times minus 4? This coefficient is 2. And this coefficient is minus 4. 2 times minus 4 minus 8 a squared multiplied by a squared a power of 4 b squared multiplied by b squared b power of 4 this is the second term then let's go to the last one coefficient is 1 as you see 1 2 times 1 and you cannot see 1 because uh, when it's, we don't write it we think it's coefficient uh, 1 2 times 1 1 uh, 2 times 1 1 no 2 times 1 is 2 positive 2 a squared multiplied by a a cube b squared multiplied by b b cube this is the first okay of course it's not finished because we have a second term here the first term i multiply but i need to multiply by this term either so let's do it negative 3 mal a b multiplied by that one negative 3 multiplied by negative 3 is uh, negative 9 a times a cube a power of 4 b times b b square and continue don't miss any term here okay minus 3 minus 4 plus 12 a times a squared a cube a cube b times b squared b cube then let's go to the last one minus 3 times 1 minus 3 a squared b squared a times a a squared b times b b squared so that's the product let's check is there any like terms a power of 5 i cannot say a power of 5 no a power of 4 b power of 4 there is, there is a power of 4 but the b power of 2 because of that they are not like terms so there isn't a cube b cube let's check a cube b cube yes as you see plus 12 a cube b cube plus 2 a cube b cube these are like terms and is there another one no as I check, there isn't any like terms. I need to write all terms and I, I need to combine on the like terms. A power 6 times a power of 5 b cubed minus 8 times a power of 4 b power of 4 plus 2 times a cubed b cubed. Oh, that's the problem here. We need to combine it. We've decided we need to combine plus 2 a cubed plus 12 a cubed plus 15 a cubed b cubed. 
so minus 9 a power of 4 b squared so we cannot write that one here we already combine it minus 3 a minus 3 a squared b squared so this is the end of the product we combine the like terms and we get that result so idea is same you need to multiply one by one that's all uh, that's end of this video thank for uh, thanks for watching